Alright guys, uh, we're just going to have a quick look at uh, some new operations to manipulate primitive shapes. Um, these are called boolean commands and they can be found just here in our standard toolbar. Uh, the first four commands are what we're going to be looking at. Uh, the boolean union, boolean difference, boolean intersection and boolean split. Uh, so to use these tools we first need at least two primitive shapes. In this case, I'm going to just draw a little cube and I'll also draw a sphere. Um, now these tools work on two shapes which are overlapping, uh, but not two shapes that are enclosed within one another. So let's have a look how the first tool works. First one across is going to be the Boolean union. Uh, that joins two objects together. And this is what we mean by that. You'll notice if you see these two objects, they're overlapping. However, the surfaces inside them are actually uh, running into one another. When we create a nice clean model in Rhino, uh, we don't want any of that. We want all the surfaces where they overlap to be merged. So Boolean Union is a really quick way to do that. So we'll just click on the tool there. And it says select surfaces to union. So the, we'll just click on these two surfaces. It says enter when done. Hit enter. And you can see the difference now. These two surfaces are really cleanly joined together. Um, I'll just go ahead and delete that. Um, and let's look just here. We'll try it once more. This time we'll do it with a cylinder and a cone. So draw out a cylinder. Give it some height. I'm going to draw out a cone uh, with the same diameter, just using grid snap here. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to select that cone. I'm going to move it into position. Try Boolean Union, these two, left clicking, enter when done. And you can see now that these two objects have been joined together really nicely. Um, we can also do this for multiple objects. So you notice if I add a couple more cylinders to this uh, model, we can join that all up as well. Okay, uh, so I'm going to move these into position using the gumball. Now you'll notice here we have one object inside another. If we try to boolean these it's going to come back with an error. It's going to say objects do not intersect, nothing done. Okay, so when we do boolean we have to make sure that they're actually not enclosed, objects aren't enclosed within one another that they are in fact intersecting one another like this. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead using my lasso to select all these three objects that we've just made. I'm going to hit Boolean Union. Um, because I pre-selected my objects, the tool ran automatically. And you can see now that I've got some clean joints between these three objects. I might as well finish off the base of my rocket ship by creating one more object. Uh, I'm going to, oops, created the wrong thing there. I want to create a truncated cone, not a solid, there we go, truncated cone, okay. And I just put that up like that, okay. And we're going to just move that into place to create a base. Now you see here, again, we can use our Boolean union command by selecting these three objects, or these two objects, one, two, and we'll grab a Boolean union. There you go. We can see now we have one nicely constructed rocket ship. Um, the next Boolean command we have is a subtract. Uh, this will subtract one object from another. So I might continue with my rocket and add some windows. So what I'm going to do here is use my cylinder 
and draw some cylinders. Now I'm going to make sure that these pass right through the object. Um, and I might copy and paste these a couple of times. So Control C, Control V. And I'll just drag that pasted object down with my gumball. And I'll hit Control V again and do the same. So now we'll be able to see that we have three cylinders. Uh, you'll also notice that I've been very purposeful in making sure that they fully intersect the center cone. Um, always better to be safe than sorry. Okay, we're going to click on Boolean Difference. And it's going to ask us to select the surfaces or poly surfaces to subtract from. So in this case we're going to subtract from the main rocket ship and press enter. And then it's going to ask us what we want to subtract with. So again, we'll select these three cylinders and we'll hit enter. You can see there that we've successfully subtracted those cylinders from our rocket ship body. Okay. We can try that once more. Uh, maybe what we'll do is create some space at the base of our cylinder. So I'm going to just draw up a large cylinder. I'm going to move that down here. So it just intersects that bottom foot of our rocket ship. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is use the subtract command again. Subtracting from the body, subtracting with the cylinder. And there we go. Night nice cut out nights neat cut out. Okay. The next one along we have is the Boolean split command. Oh Boolean intersection, sorry. Uh, that's gonna take the where two objects intersect. Okay. So for this I'm gonna create a new object. I'm gonna create a sphere. And one more sphere. Okay, and what the boolean split command will do is leave me with this center region that is intersecting. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the tool, boolean intersection, sorry, not split. It's going to ask me to select my first set of surfaces, my second set, and press enter when done. And you'll see that it's just left me with that region as a solid where those two objects intersected. Um, I don't tend to use that tool very much, um, can come in handy. When I do need to do an operation similar to that, what I generally end up doing uh, is using the split command. So this time I'm going to create a cylinder. This works very much like the other tool, however, it leaves us also with the shape so it doesn't get rid of anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click Boolean Split. Okay, select surfaces to split. So I'm going to split this rocket ship and I'm going to split it with, so I select cutting surfaces, this object. Sorry, no, I accidentally collected, uh, selected that so I'll just control click to unselect. Press enter when done. And let's look at the result. You'll notice that that cylinder has stayed intact. But what we have here is a surface that's now been split up wherever that cylinder was intersecting it. Now we can use that tool in a different way if we want to split all the objects. This time I'm going to get back into the tool. It says select surfaces to split. So I'm going to split this surface. Oops, I'm just going to hit undo first so we get back before we did it. There you go. Uh, okay, now I've got this and this again. Select surfaces to split. I'm going to select this surface and this surface. And when it asks me to select my cutting surface, I'm going to select this surface and this surface. Okay. We can see now that we have that's been split, so it's now a tube. This has been split twice because we had two shapes there. Okay. And we're left with that. So uh, that's how the split tool works. And that can be quite handy.
for different things in Rhino. Um, but you can see how we can quickly uh, add basic shapes together to create more complex uh, forms in Rhino uh, using primitives. Okay, thanks guys.